Hi guys, this is Amit Kumar and I welcome to Princeton Solution. Today's topic is how to migrate data from Excel database to SQL Server database. So let's see friends, I have a couple of data sets with me. I have these all uh, Excel databases. So I have this Excel database where I have three different tables. I will migrate this data to my SQL Server database and I will try to create some analytics. So my purpose is to create the analytics. So first of all, I will migrate this data to SQL Server. Okay. So I'll just copy this folder path and then I'll go to SQL Server database. Here I have SQL Server database. I'll create a blank database here. Probably the database name I can give as order DB. Okay. Now here I have to go for uh, this uh, you know task and import database. For importing the data from different database to SQL Server. You have to import database which will enable this uh, widget. Then choose uh, the source data sets which you want to, uh, you know, from where you do want to fetch the data. Now here you can browse and go to the target location where exactly our data set is located. This is what it is. Now choose this data set uh, type. It is uh, this version of data set. And remember, you have to ensure that this check has to be there. Otherwise, the first record of the Excel sheet will not be considered as the header of the table. Okay, so choose this one, then next. So here, this is the target database you have to select. Server name is localhost. You have to give, and and in case of the SQL Server is located in a remote machine, you have to give the IP address of that local, uh, that remote machine. So as my SQL Server is in my local machine, you can uh, give the uh, server name as localhost. And username is SA password you have to give and then you choose the database there are multiple database we have and this is the blank database I can choose if you have not created the database you can simply click new and create a database here okay next copy the file from one or more table or views okay and then choose this database here choose this tables so customer table or a table or a detail this is probably something different I am not choosing it okay so here remember friends when you are uh, choosing the table uh, simply uh, you know give the table prefix as TBL ensure that if uh, some uh, table name is, is like transaction some table name is like date that should not be conflict with any keyword of the SQL Server. So, just give the name of the table in such a way that it should not be conflict with any other keyword. Okay, so that's why I'm giving the prefix as TBL. Now, the time to check the edit mapping. Uh, so, you can go and see the mapping uh, compatibility whether the SQL Server database uh, field is going database data type is going to perfectly capture the data of the excel or not so select this and change the mapping if it is required if it is not then leave it as it is so there are some fields which can be date and somehow it would not have been selected as date you can select them appropriately okay so this is okay i found this is okay these are all the character fields so i can make it this and customer uh, this order this is float this is float uh, so this is order date so which is found to be float here so this kind of scenario has to be avoided it is a date time data type so you always check it as date time okay you need to know the database uh, schema here in this case customer number customer date this is date time so delivery order date has to be date time customer order date is also date time so likewise there may be other 
fields which would be date time you can ensure them okay now let, this looks fine all right now this one also order number serial number order date this is perfect date time uh, unit of measurement and then float all these are the accurate uh, fields see see friends why are this mapping windows needed sometimes what happen in sql server the data is always uh, automatically converted to some other data type say in source uh, database you may have uh, the data are like in date type of data whereas in sql server it would be stored as uh, string or var cap so in this this case there will not be value of those data because you cannot do any uh, mathematical calculations there okay so ensure to check the data type of the target database should be accurate as per the source database okay now it's time to go next here we go and next so here this option is asking me to run this uh, scripts run this console immediately or else you can also save it to ssis package SSIS is basically friends it is uh, integration package which will be stored as a uh, executable file and that can be executed to uh, automate this process through a batch job however I will create a complete video of these in the uh, next session you can have a uh, link and um, at the end and uh, you can connect to that video so uh, for the time being I am just running this to uh, you know uh, running this to uh, run this console next the data is successfully transferred here we go so let's see how the data are transferred for from the source database to destination database so it's absolutely fine here it is there must be thousand records here also there is thousand records so this is absolutely fine so this is how the process of data migration from excel database to sql server okay i hope friends you have liked this video if you have liked this video please like and subscribe to see the further uh, all this technical uh, you know uh, videos in the uh, next week i am coming up with all the technical videos uh, of sql server other technologies very frequently so thanks for watching thank you so much bye bye